If I press play, everything works completely fine and I get no errors. But watch what happens when I stop playing, go duplicate a mushroom, and press play again. Now we have an error. Let's take a look at the error and see what happened. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's start using irithas.witn2 to solve one of the problems that Jason had proposed. If you guys interested in Jason's video, I've put the links down in the description, so be sure you check it out and compare to see if my solution is better than his. So, I will put all the requirements, all the code here to try to reconstruct the scene that he had. In here, you can see that I have four mushroom and a mushroom manager. So, what Jason do is a little experiment. You put four of the mushrooms here and somehow the application returns for you an error. Let's see. You will see a new reference exception. Now, let's take a look at how the code works. In here, I have a mushroom object with which is a simple mono behavior. And in an await method, I simply set this position to the mushroom manager dot instant that get next position. And in the mushroom manager class, we have the singleton pattern over here. And in the await methods, I simply set the instant equal to this class. And another method is the get next position where I will use to set to the mushroom position. One of the strange things that Jason has shown you guys is although four of the mushrooms show an arrow, three of them won't. Let's start by deleting one of those. I will again run the application. You will see that there's no error has been shown earth, and that's the problem. Error that sometimes is come up and sometimes is one is a nightmare to us. So, how does this happen? For me, the reasons for this happen is called the race condition. So, I will push out you guys the definition. It's an undesirable solution that's two things running at the same time. And that is quite problems if your operation needs to be done in a proper sequence. So in here, in the await method of the mushroom and the await method of the mushroom manager, it's happened in the same time. In here, we initialize a singleton pattern, but in a mushroom, we actually set this position to the instance. However, as you can see, that's in order to this live code to be happens, the instance must be set to this class before that. So what happens if this awake method run after this method, you will get a new reference exception. Let's see. We can just duplicate this and let's run. You will see that. You will get a new reference exception. So, what Jason proposed is you will change this await method to the start method. So, all the mushroom objects will have their code run after the singleton pattern has been implemented. However, I think is that it's not a proper solution because as you can see in a large application, many things must be done before and so all the things must be done after. It's really hard for them to be changed like that. The same with another solution that Jason proposed is modifying the order of script execution. 
he will put the priority of the mushroom manager higher so this object code must run first so the problem with that solution is the order of execution is quite hard to manage and it's sometimes be forgotten if you're working on a large team and before I propose my solution I just want to say that um, similar to Jason's my solution is only situational and in your real application what you should do is to control the flow of your games in a start to finish you need to control what objects need to run first and what object doesn't and you will have a better control of your application but i also understand that life is not perfect maybe you will put in some projects as the code base is already set up to be like this so when you have to deal with that situation what would you do my solution is using a scene await in here i will change this await method to a scene and i will use a very common init task function called wait until init task dot wait until so basically you will understand that it will wait until some condition is guaranteed to be true and in here the condition that needs to be true is the singleton patterns of the mushroom manager must be implemented i will use the arrow functions and then i will return mushroom manager dot instant is not no And you will see that writer has already provided me with an suggestions. And I will put the await keyword first. By the way, if you're interested in how to use unit tasks in your projects, I have an amazing tutorial here, and you will find the links down in the descriptions. So basically, what this coded is we await until the mushroom manager is implemented then we will set the position of our mushroom to that let's take a look at the editor i will run this and you see that there is no error because we already control the flow of our application i will make a little experiment by using eight mushroom instead of four Let's see if any errors. You see, no errors happen. And that is the end of my video. If you like it, please consider like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.